Today's devotion is names in God's book. I'd like to start in Philippians chapter 4, Philippians chapter 4, verses 1 through 3, but I'm mostly just focused on verse 3. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech you, Odeus, and beseech Syntyche, that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. And also I want to look at uh, Luke chapter 10. Verse 1, Luke chapter 10, verse 1 says, After these things, the Lord appointed other seventy also and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place, whether he himself would come. And then also, if we look at uh, Luke 10, verse 20, let's start back in... Uh, verse 17, and we'll end at uh, tw- verse 20. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not, that the spirits are uh, subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. During the ministry of Jesus, uh, there came a time when He sent out 70 disciples to preach the good news of the kingdom of God. They returned joyfully excited because they discovered that as they preached the gospel, even the demons were subject to their authority. Jesus responded to them that they uh, should not boast about that concerning or considering he had given them the authority. Instead, they should celebrate with joy that their names had been written in heaven. With these comments, Jesus did not intend to pour cold water on their passion for the gospel. Rather, Jesus did not want his disciples to lose sight of the fact that they stood in a privileged position as children of God. They were tempted to boast about the power of the gospel through them, but Jesus uh, wanted them to boast in the fact that God knew them at all. In today's text, Paul mentioned a few believers by name who had worked hard in the gospel ministry. Of all the glowing uh, accolades he could, or excuse me, he could have written about, he chose instead to write the most important aspect of their existence, namely that they were in God's book of life. As we get busy in the ministry of the church, it can be easy to take salvation for granted. We can uh, get busy exercising our gifts as God's children that we forget to be grateful for the most important fact of all, namely that God has given us the greatest gift in salvation through his son Jesus Christ. Just a thought, is your name written in the book of life? That is our devotional for today.